Okay, dear friends, today I will solve some question about projectile motion. But mostly I prefer I choose horizontal flight examples. First one is a baseball rolls of a 0 0.7 meters high desk and strikes the floor uh, 0 0.25 meters away from the base of the desk. How fast was the ball rolling? I choose this question from chapter 2, section 3, practice T, and it is the first question. Let's try to draw it. It says there is a table, and the table is 0 0.75 delta y is equal to 0 0.7 meters high, and then a ball rolls on table, and because of its horizontal velocity, it strikes uh, 0 0.25 meters away. This 0 0.25 meters is delta x since it moves in horizontal flight. The horizontal velocity of the box Vx wanted. So how can we calculate it? Uh, in vertical it makes free fall and it has a horizontal Vx. Because of Vx it moves that 0 0.25 meters. By using the distance delta y we can calculate delta t. So uh, uh, in vertical in vertical it makes sorry in vertical it makes free fold. And if free fall, if you remember, what we learned, delta y is equal to distance because it falls with the gravitational acceleration. G multiplied delta t. G is a square of delta t, sorry. And then delta y given, since delta y under the ball level, so it will fall downward direction. We'll take this distance as minus. Minus 0 0.7 is equal to 1 over 2 multiply g, g is minus 9.81 multiply square of delta t. If we divide each side here by, sorry, let me push you forward to see clear. If we divide, if you multiply each side by 2 in order to get rid of this part, it will be minus 1.4 is equal to minus 9.81 multiply square of delta t. So, I divide each side by minus 9.81, this part 9.81, this will cancel, so delta t square will be minus 1.4 divided by minus 9.81. The minus will cancel to each other, it will be plus. Then from the equation, if we take root of each side, Delta T will be 0 0.37 second. 0 0.37 second. We get time. This is time of flight goes from here to that place. So in horizontal it makes motion with constant velocity. And delta X is equal to Vx multiplied delta T. What we need here is Vx, so Vx will be delta x over delta t. Then Vx is equal to delta x 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.37. Then here Vx will be 0 0.67 meter per second. This is Vx. Is the velocity horizontal. Second question. Again, horizontal flights. They say a cat keys chases a mouse across one meter high table. The mouse step out of the way and then the cat slides off the table and strikes the floor 2.2 meters from the edge of the table. When the cat slides off the table, what was its speed? Again, practice the second question. Let's draw it. Assume this is the table and here is the ground. So the cat, this is the cat, okay, and it slides. 
slides down, folds like he asks you. What's given? Delta y height of the table is one meter, and then the delta x that the cat's fold is two point two meters. So again, same as previous question, we can calculate delta t by using delta y. It makes free fold. Delta y is equal to one over two g multiplied square of delta t. Minus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied g is 9.81 multiply square of delta t. Then if you cross multiply 2 is equal to minus 9.81 multiply square of delta t. And delta t square will be minus 2 divided by minus 9.81 minus and minus will cancel. Delta t square will be delta t square will be 0 0.2 around, and then if we take root of each side, delta t will be 0 0.45 seconds. Now delta t by using delta t we can calculate delta x delta x sorry, Vx, Vx multiply delta t, delta x given with delta t we calculate, so Vx horizontal velocity of the cat, we should calculate, Vx is equal to delta x over delta t, and Vx is equal to delta x 2.2 meters divided by 0 0.45 seconds. If so, Vx will be 4.9 meters per second. Thank you. The fourth question, sorry, third question. A plane is traveling horizontally at 30 meters per second at a height of 200 meters above the ground. What horizontal distance does the package fall before landing? It has a picture here. Look at here, the plane traveling with 30 meters per second and they drop a box. Of course, box will make horizontal flight. And it says V and horizontal, how many meters away will the box fall? So again, we draw a simple demo of this. Assume this is the plane. And here, this is the plane, and it drops the box, and box will move like this. The plane moving with a height of 200 meters above the ground, so delta y is equal to 200 meters. Its horizontal velocity, vx, is equal to 30 meters per second. It says how many meters away, what will be the range of the box? It's few different than previous question. Now, horizontal velocity given, height given, so if we calculate delta t, then by multiplying vx, we can get delta x. So delta y is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied g square of delta t, and minus 200 is equal to 1 over 2 minus 9.81 multiplied square of delta t. If we cross multiply by 2, it will be minus 400 is equal to minus 9.81 multiply square of delta t. Then delta t square will be minus 400 divided by minus 9.81. And delta t square will be, if you multiply them, uh, it will be 40.8 40.8 if we take root of each side okay take root of each side then delta t will be uh, 6.4 second you get delta t now what is wanted delta x delta x is equal to vx multiplied delta t and delta x is equal to vx is 30 multiply 
6.4 delta t and delta x will be around 192 meters Okay, the last question, it's similar as the first and second. Uh, it says a pelican flying along a horizontal path drops a fish from a height of 5.4 meters. The fish travel 8 meters horizontally before it hits the water below. What is the pelican speed? Let's draw, assume this is the pelican and it is moving it's flying uh, horizontally here when he, it lifts the fish the fish will have also same velocity and it falls over a distance delta y of is equal to 5.4 meters it flies then when it lifts the fish fish falls 8 meters away so it is delta x delta x is equal to 8 meters it says what is the velocity of the fish or that live from the pelican so let's calculate again since height given same as before delta y is equal to 1 over 2 g multiply square of delta t and then delta y given we'll take minus 5.4 as explained before 1 over 2 minus 9.81 multiply square of delta t Cross multiply it will be minus 10.8 it is equal to minus 9.81 square of delta t we need delta t then delta t square will be minus 10.8 divided by 9.81 from this equation uh, please use, use your calculation calculator to calculate it delta t square will be 1.1 and when you take root of each side then delta t will be 1.05 second we get delta t we x wanted delta x is equal to the x multiply delta t and then the x is equal to delta x over delta t the x is equal to delta x is given as 8 meters divided by time 1.05 from this if you calculate delta x so vx will be around 7.6 meter per second that's all about horizontal flight thank you